Vehicular movement was at a standstill for hours while the gridlock lasted. Motorists, mainly truck drivers on the opposite direction, were stuck on the traffic congestion while others were forced to go through the opposite lane, thereby blocking both lanes of the road. According to the victim, who was allegedly brutalized by some youths of a whole community and other truck drivers, trouble started when the victim was asked to pay his daily levy, a payment he claimed he had already made, showing his receipt as proof. He said before he could explain, the youths allegedly pounced on him, inflicting various degrees of injuries on him in the process. Other drivers called on the authorities in charge to help check the activities of the youths in the community who they alleged are fond of victimizing them. These those people come meet me there, then say make a pay money for security again. I say which money for security why I won't pay. So see receipt why I pay the other ones. He said that one, na local government. This one come away I go give us. Na in community where I send my hand to carry my money and phone. In use quarters like me for heads. So now our people they woke up by that night, then say, Okay, made them stop the road. Yeah, remember our, our car here. We live here, and why community people are threatening us too much? Why they use tools, guns to threat us? Now, see the federal road. We're talking about federal road. The federal road is no more than two lanes, and it's supposed to be four lanes right now. But based on we don't have a normal parks. To park now, that to park is what day. is causing everything. People park double lanes. Some drivers who were stranded for us speak on the ordeal. There's a heavy hold up there, both left and right. So I ask why. The same days they are fighting. Security people and the drivers who park on the road, they could say they should pay the money, what I have here. They say they don't pay. They start, that's why the fight come up. It would do so much. It's too much. Supposed to go back to Europe in today, but now nah, that's way. At the time of this report, the truck that was initially used to block the road has been removed through the intervention of mobile policemen in the area, thereby allowing the free flow of vehicular traffic on the road. The news crew was, however, unable to obtain comments from the alleged youths of the community on their side of the story, as they were elusive when asked for an interview on the matter. Sharon Ajay reporting.